Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new, welcome. My name is Coco and I am a cozy flavored gamer over here on the internet. And today I am talking about creepy cozy games that are perfect to play during fall, autumn, whatever word you call it. Right now it is spring for me because I live in Australia and I am living vicariously through all of these games. And I particularly want to focus on the ones that are more on the spooky side, more the creepy cozy side of things because Halloween is coming up and this is when I like to test myself a little bit more, but not too much. You'll see from my list today, I'm definitely more on the cozy side of things. So if that's what you like, then sit yourself down with a cup of tea and let's get straight into it. I'm going to start off with the coziest one on this list. I swear it looks so cute. And this one isn't even out until 2014, but it has the most adorable demo out already on Steam. This is a game called Love Ghosty, where you play as matchmaker to all the manor's residents. It's super cute, super casual. You choose your manor residents and get to see their different styles in each room. The happier they are, the more they will decorate their rooms and they will also decorate using the gifts that you give them. These gifts are great to raise their spirits and they're usually a good way to strengthen a relationship as each gift is actually from one of the other residents. Like it's us doing it, but they don't need to know that. You get to set the residents up on dates and watch as their love blooms. It sounds so adorable. This actually might be a demo that I played this week on Thursday. I'm streaming every single Thursday this month and getting progressively more spooky towards Halloween. And I would also love your help to decide what other creepy cozy games we are going to play. This next one is another demo and it just looks so perfect for fall, so perfect for autumn. I know I'm in Australia, but I can pretend. I can have dreams. I can dream, Harold! This game looks like a pixel version of Spirited Away and it is called Spirity. In Spirity, you are the only person in town that can see all the troublesome spirits and it's your job to get an old bathhouse up and running again in hopes of helping them chill out. On top of managing the bathhouse, you also get to decorate and upgrade two of my favorite things in cozy games. You'll also be solving the spirit's problems and befriending the locals. Spirity does say on Steam that it's coming soon, so maybe this one will be fully out within 2023. I'm really hoping for that, but until then, there is the demo over on Steam. So on to some games that you can play right now, and I want to kick off with Mineko's Night Market. I won't spend too much on this one because it's been so eagerly anticipated that I'm sure you probably already know about it, but it really does look so perfect for fall that I need it on this list. And there's something about it that seems perfect for spooky season two. I think like the night market, so it's night, maybe there's spirits. Doesn't help that there is a skull on that girl's hoodie. <laughs> maybe that's it. Maybe it's entirely the fact that this girl's a bit of an emo chick. I don't know. It just seems perfect. Mineko's Night Market is a game that celebrates Japanese culture while introducing a heartwarming story about friendship, tradition, and many, many cats. Hey folks, Editor Coco here, um, because I actually saw that the Mineko's Night Market team have sent out an apology message to Switch players. They've said they know people have had some negative experiences and they're working hard to address all the bugs and issues. The full message is on screen right now and I wanted to say that I am still super excited to get my hands on this game and I guess I'm kind of used to games needing to be tweaked for a few weeks after they first launch. If I do do a review in the future, it will be after the team has had time to work out the kinks because I want to experience this game at its best. It seems so full of quirk and character and fetching and sneaking and cats. How can it not be great, honestly? That's all for now on Mineko's Night Market. Thank you so much to the team for your honesty and thank you to everyone that is leaving helpful and polite criticism to let the team know what they need to fix. There's actually an extra game I wanted to mention and totally forgot about before, so I want to mention it now, and that is a game called Creeks. From the reviews, I don't think I can call this game creepy, but also with a name like Creeks, the dark illustration style, and the self-proclaimed eerie soundtrack, I wouldn't 100% call it cozy either. The ground starts shaking, light bulbs are breaking, and something rather unusual is happening right behind the walls of your very room. Equipped with nothing but wit and courage, you slowly descend into a world inhabited by avian folk and seemingly deadly furniture monsters. Creeks is a puzzle platformer with an emphasis on the puzzles, but you don't have to be super precise, which makes it an easier experience than a... Uh, <coughs> some. It's also kind enough to have a chapter per large puzzle, so you can go back and 100% them within one playthrough if you want to. From the sounds of the thousands of overwhelmingly positive reviews, I think if you can embrace the parts that seem creepy at first, you'll end up having a really brilliant experience. I'm very aware of the sun setting on me right now, but I can do nothing to change that. Another game that recently released is a JRPG hack and slash matchmaking game, and yes, that is one game with all of those things in it, and it actually does all of them really well. 
This is a game called Eternites. It is a brilliant, unique blend, but also one that actually orchestrates it brilliantly. You play as a teenage boy who, along with his friends and possible love interests, take on dungeons and enemies in a world that is newly infested with humans that have turned into monsters. Eternites leans into the action and dungeon crawling, but it also leans heavily into dating. Each day you have a chance to connect with your party and grow closer to them, and these interactions help unlock new skills. The dungeons are quite dark, but your character basically brandishes a lightsaber and you're never fighting alone, making the experience of fighting way less stressful to me. Along with the romance and emotional aspects of Eternites, I think this is one that cozy gamers that like action will really enjoy and should definitely give a go during spooky season. The next game I want to play during spooky season is Dredge. I've heard of so many cozy gamers loving this one. Could the sun behave? No, it can't. Clearly it can't. It's fine. So many cozy gamers have told me they love this one despite it being so full of suspense. It seems Dredge has perfectly scratched some weird itch that only a chilled out fishing eldritch horror can as you spend your days merrily aboard your boat catching fish to sell at the market, just hoping your sanity meter stays low. The sanity meter part is genius to me, and once you're out at night, the little eye that represents your sanity gets a little bit antsy. The lower your sanity, the more likely weird events are to happen. However, depending on how far you are in the game, you might be incentivized to experience some of these events. As you play, you can also upgrade your ship, making each night a little easier to survive, and the game's main fishing mechanics and mini-games are really chilled out, addictive, and exactly what we're looking for in a cozy game. I can definitely weirdly see the appeal in Dredge for its suspenseful parts and its cozy aspects. If you have already played it, I would love to hear a little bit more about it in the comments down below. Spoiler-free as possible for everyone involved. Thank you in advance, I am really excited for that one. This game does have an epilepsy warning, so if you're at all sensitive, maybe skip to this next game but for everyone else if you're a fan of limbo then this game might be another one up your alley this is a game called silt and it's a black and white really atmospheric underwater puzzle game if the ocean scares you don't play this game or do i don't know maybe you like that i don't know much about the story in this one and i'm not sure that there is a big story in this one but it looks like there are a lot of really cool puzzles that you solve under the water in silt you have a really cool power where you can possess sea creatures and then use their abilities to complete different puzzles the next game i want to talk about releases on the 19th of october and it is agatha christie's murder on the orient express i just can't think of a better blend of cozy and spooky than a classic murder mystery while this game doesn't seem new it's actually a modernized and revisited version of the agatha christie classic set in 2023 a crime has been committed aboard the orient express and hercule poirot during this trip is surrounded by a group of singular characters all suspects each with their own secrets and motivations and he will then try to elucidate the murder that has just taken place. Solving this mystery won't be easy and you'll have to use your detective skills to unravel the truth and bring it to light. Whether you're a fan of the iconic books or movies, a lover of murder mysteries, or just looking for a thrilling adventure, this new proposal has something for everyone. If you're just getting into murder mysteries, this is one you should definitely be trying out as it is such a classic, and if you're not new to this, perhaps this is one that you want to step back into because it will have that nostalgia factor on top of it actually being a new murder to solve. The last game I'll mention today is one I've already been playing, I am a little freaked out by, but it is a really good game, and that is Little Nightmares. And I especially want to mention this because Little Nightmares 3 is on its way out. Little Nightmares is a side-scrolling, super atmospheric, dark and mysterious game that just plonks you in the middle of nowhere. You have no idea what's going on, you've got no idea why you're there, but my goodness, the feeling of dread and the desire to just get on out of there? <sighs> like, why are you here, Six? You're just being silly. This light, my god, I am not filming at 5pm ever again. So you are playing as a yellow hooded character called Six who has to escape a mysterious vessel called the Moor while avoiding the crew that basically all want to eat you. I love a good mystery and that is what has kept me playing because they literally tell you nothing. But I am promised that there is in fact a story and each of the current three games that are released are linked. Plus Little Nightmares 3 is coming out in 2024 and that on its own is making me super excited to play the rest. 
For all my co-op fans out there, get excited because Little Nightmares 3 is going to be fully co-op or you can choose to play solo and have an AI buddy by your side. Either one sounds really good to me, but honestly having a friend with me to brave the shadows with would be really, really good. <laughs> that is all from me today. I hope you enjoyed this list of creepy, cozy, spooky, fall inspired games. I hope this made sense. I really do. <laughs> That's all from me today and plenty of cozy, creepy games for spooky season. I really hope you like this list. Please let me know if there are any other games that you would like me to play or that you are playing down in the comments below. If you'd like more similar games, I actually already have one video about creepy, cozy games up on my channel. You can check out up here somewhere. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, you know what to do. It would mean the world to me if you subscribed and a huge, huge thank you to all of my channel members. Your support really does mean the world to me and your pet pictures are proudly displayed on my end screen. Thank you all so much for watching. Here is something else cozy for you to enjoy and I will see you in the next one. Bye.